Hello, I'm Gary Mancini, welcome back to Collector's Edition. Today we're going to be taking a look at some sticker albums. Now, I have so many sticker albums that I've had to break this video up into two parts. So this is part one, and it mostly consists of Star Wars sticker albums. Uh, in fact, it only consists of Star Wars sticker albums. But uh, please stick around for part two, which will be coming up next week. Thank you very much. <laughs> So, although this isn't the first sticker album that I had, it is one of the earliest and probably the only one I have still got from uh, the really early days of sticker collecting when I was a kid. And this is obviously the one for 1980s Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. Let's uh, take a look inside. Now, oops, I missed a page. There's your title page. Now, uh, the one thing you'll find with all these albums is that they are absolutely complete. Every single album has every single sticker inside. I hope you can see all of this. I'm going for a few close-up shots on this Empire album in a moment. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, everything here is in place. And this is uh, one of the only remaining sticker albums that I had when I was a kid. There is one other, which you'll see in a moment, which you'll probably guess what that is. But uh, the very first one that I had, I don't have here, which is The Rescuers, which was a Disney cartoon. It was the very first sticker album I had. And I'd love to get that again. Never seen it since. Um, so yeah. And of course, moving on from uh, The Empire Strikes Back, we have The Return of the Jedi. I remember a lot of us having difficulty filling this album or completing this album. So uh, let's take a look inside. So uh, these ones we used to call jigsaws, where it comprised of a number of stickers, in this case nine on this uh, Star Destroyer image, and you had to line them up to complete the image. And as you can see, the stickers didn't always uh, fit, so you're left with white lines everywhere, which is a shame. But uh, that's on the uh, people who make the stickers, and not on me. Some nice character pages here. What's also nice is they do um, these little illustrations of the characters as well. Luke Skywalker there. Han or Han, however you want to pronounce it. So over here. Nice uh, illustration there, as a jigsaw this time. It's what we used to call these. You also had these uh, double pages with the starships on. So as we all know, Star Wars went away after Return of the Jedi for a very long time. Um, until around 1996 when books and things started to appear. And then in 1997 we got the release of the Star Wars Trilogy Special Editions with added special effects and uh, everything else. And this is a book that came out around that era. And this is probably the book that got me back into sticker collecting, to tell you the truth. Because I was uh, going on a bit of a mad Star Wars rush around that time, around 97. I was collecting most things to do with the re-release of the special editions, and uh, this was one of the things I started again. And uh, as you'll see in a moment, they gave you a weird section where you could um, create your own space battle. I think that's in this book. Yes, here we go. So, you could pretty much do what you like to with... Uh, these stickers, you can have some Starship stickers, some explosions. You can do whatever you like, move them wherever you want to do, create your own battle scene, it's entirely up to you. And the same with this one here as well. These little characters you can put around the snow scene. What's it says there? There we go, stick and lift. So if you didn't like where they were, pick them up, move them again. This was a poster. Uh, nothing on the back there. So on the front, all the aliens of Jabba's palace and all the other creatures. That's a bit of a creature poster. A 
was a special edition sticker album. Of course, not long after the uh, special edition movies came out, we had the first of the prequels with Star Wars Episode One in 1999. We have these glittery kind of stickers with this one. And um, some nice character ones there as well. As I said, every book is complete. Excuse me, just flicking through these because we've got a lot of books to get through. And uh, Lego, Star Wars Lego sticker bits. Which is uh, quite unusual. Okay, let's move on to the next prequel. Which was, of course, Star Wars Attack of the Clones. Just a very quick blast through this one. See the static stick in the pages together still. And again, another poster with well, some more Lego over there. Poster with this one with the, uh, the characters on it. Nice shiny stickers. This one's pretty large, you can see it folds out quite big. Some more Lego there. And now on to Revenge of the Sith. There we go, Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. It says there, six free stickers inside. And um, there's some of them. But I always used to leave them there. I never liked to take them out and stick them in the album. I wanted to keep the album as complete as it was. So, um, strangely, even though I had the stickers there, I would still have to find them in the packets so that I could complete my album. But, uh, yeah. Another lovely album here. This is the, the poster. Now, this one... I didn't even remove from the book. I would stick the stickers in while it was held in place. So the staples never came out. That's still stapled to the book. And uh, I would just lean in like that, put the sticker in place, and carry on. It's another great album. Again, they did the Lego and uh, Hasbro toys actually on the back of this one. Sorry, my apologies, not Lego. But the Hasbro toys in the back of this one in sticker form. There we go, that's that one. Now this one's a bit of an oddity. This kind of arrived, I believe, before the uh, sequel trilogy arrived. So this is kind of a filler, like the other one was just now. And this is a Star Wars Saga collection album. The ultimate collection, apparently. Okay, left the stickers in the book. And it went through film by film, so you got Phantom Menace. Some nice stickers from Phantom Menace. And then the section about the Jedi. About the Sith. There we go, Attack of the Clones. Revenge of the Sith, of course. Um, another poster, again, stuck inside the book. Doesn't ever get taken out. Now we go on to the original trilogy, so you've got a new hope in sticker form. Which was nice to see. As I said, we never had the new Hope album uh, in the UK. I think it was released in Italy, but we didn't get it over here. Then Past Strikes Back. Mercenaries. And then we end with Return of the Jedi. On to the sequel trilogy now. This is the Force Awakens album. Oops, put it back to first order. And so from. His younger days and his older days. So these don't really follow the um, the story of the film like some of the albums have in the past. So static sticking them together. Be careful not to tear anything. Well, it just features characters from the uh, from the films. I don't know why here it is now. So yeah, this is a bit of a strange one. It's kind of got characters who weren't in the film, like Yoda. Let me get some good 
battery stickers on these. Here's a complete poster. Just in case you wondered, no, I didn't complete one, but here it is. And of course, the stickers in the back. The Last Jedi is next. This is a very white and clear album. Yeah, we'll just flick through because there are other books to go through. I don't want it to be entirely starless. You see a nice array of stickers there. Nice array of colours. Nice and bright. There we go. That was The Last Jedi. Now you'd imagine the next one would be The Rise of Skywalker, wouldn't you? But no, it's this uh, Star Wars Universe sticker collection. And again, we'll just whiz through this. Next, getting some very nice stickers in here. off the Star Wars section of the sticker albums, as you know there's been quite a lot, with this solo a Star Wars story album. So some really nice interesting stickers as well, some of these have um, got a different cut than usual. Little vehicles down there. Nice and bright and colourful. interesting you have to stick parts of the, the falcon on like the cockpit and the guns that's uh, sorry the radar and the gun yeah, it's a very nice album so that is the Star Wars section done well, I hope you enjoyed that look at some Star Wars sticker albums. Please stick around for part two, uh, which will be going up next week, which will be looking at some other movie sticker albums. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel because we've got quite a variety of uh, videos coming out, not only collector's editions, but we've got conventions, we've got dinosaurs, I've got a bit of everything on this channel, so please um, subscribe to my channel. And uh, hit the notifications bell and you will know when we've uh, put some new videos up. But for now, thank you very much. And uh, as I say, come back for part two, sticker albums part two. Thank you.